Hey there, welcome to Feast and Farm. I'm Rachel Ballard and you're watching Feast and Farm Cooks. And today we are making homemade strawberry shortcake. It's strawberry season, they're at their peak, and this is the best time to make a version that's homemade. A lot of times we pick up those mystery round things in the store, they never mold and they're kind of strange. We don't want to go there if we don't have to. And this version is so simple, you can have it together in just a couple of minutes. So let me show you how we do, do it. Let me show you how we do it. <laughs> let me show you how we're going to do it. So here's what you're going to need. Um, you're going to need butter, sugar, eggs, vanilla, all-purpose flour that's got baking powder and salt, and then some milk. You can use buttermilk if you'd like. That also works great here. So it's really simple. One bowl and a whisk. You don't need hand mixers. We don't need any of that stuff. So our butter goes in. This is softened butter. You want to make sure it is softened. And then you're going to add your sugar. Now the full recipe with all of the measurements can be found on the Feast and Farm website. So you can hop right over there and type in homemade strawberry shortcake and you'll be able to find it there. Now I'm going to work with this. Sometimes a whisk is not always easy at first, but give it a second and we're going to get this creamed in. Keep fighting. Don't be afraid. It's going to be fine. Okay. And it's fine to use your hands, by the way. You know, if your hands are clean, they are your best kitchen tool, so don't be afraid. So I've got that worked in just a little bit. And we're going to go ahead and add our two eggs. And they're going to really loosen this up just a ton. Next is our vanilla. Just a little bit. Real vanilla is always best, so if you can get your hands on that, please use real. And then we will go with, and this is completely wrong, usually you add wet into dry, but this is just how this recipe works. Everything just gets dumped in the bowl. And we'll add our milk. Don't even have to work that flour in. Just get it in the bowl together and whisk it. Okay, so once you've got that mixed and it's nice and thick, we're gonna move into our baking. So I've got a, Yikes, a um, 12 cup muffin tin here. You can use a muffin tin, that's what the recipe looks like on the website, or you can do this in an eight by eight baking pan. That works just as well. So we're gonna fill one good scoop, um, three quarters of the way up. These do rise quite a bit. Even though they're called shortcakes, they're not really that short. So we're gonna get this filled up. I'm gonna get this in the oven and they're gonna bake at 375 for 15 to 18 minutes until a toothpick inserted in the center comes out clean and they'll be ready to serve. And I will show you how to make your own whipped cream and how to get your strawberries ready in just a second. Homemade whipped cream is such a nice treat and it's so much healthier than the things that you buy in the frozen food section that doesn't even have any cream in it. So this is my favorite way to, to make ours and it's really fast and really simple. Three ingredients, never a problem to do. So first thing you're gonna have to have is heavy whipping cream. That's not half and half, that's actual heavy whipping cream. So we're gonna put that in our bowl. We're gonna add just a little bit of vanilla. And you can do like more sugar if you want to, but we're gonna add powdered sugar just a little bit because I find that if I'm using whipped cream with a dish that's already sweet, I don't like my whipped cream to be overly sweet. But we're gonna mix this with a hand mixer until it forms stiff peaks. And I'll show you what that looks like when we get there. All right, so you can see if I lift that whipped cream it's holding in those beaters. That is what we call stiff peaks, or you can lift up and see that it will hold a peak inside the bowl. So that's stiff peaks, and that's what you need for your whipped cream. Now, if you go too far and you beat it too long, you're gonna end up with butter, so you don't wanna go there. So our whipped cream is ready, and next I'll show you what to do with your strawberries. Okay, so I'm just gonna finish up slicing the last little bit of the strawberries. And I am actually not going to sugar these. I'm gonna leave them just like they are, but you can add a couple of tablespoons of sugar, toss that around on your berries and let them sit 15 minutes and it makes a really nice juice. It pulls out the juice out of the strawberries and you can do that if you'd like to add a little more sauce in your strawberry shortcake. But my shortcakes are out of the oven. They cooked for about 18 minutes and you can either, you can turn them upside down and do them, you can cut them open. I'm just gonna pile everything on top of mine. Simple enough. So I've got my whipped cream that we made, and I'm gonna just put a big pile on top, make it as messy as possible, it's good that way. And I'm just gonna put on a few strawberries, just however many you want. You can puddle them around the bottom, sometimes you just mash it together. It's all good, it's going to the same place no matter what, so it doesn't matter. Now, 
Should we take a taste? We should take a taste. Let me get a little bit off of here. It's my favorite. Can you hear the thunder? We're getting a thunderstorm. Mm. It's light, not too sweet. I'm perfect with the tang of those berries. You're gonna love this one. Make sure you go over to feastandfarm.com and check out the recipe and to make sure that you like and follow my page. Thanks so much. We'll see you later. Bye-bye.